What's up guys, Alan Brock here, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be talking about a medium format film camera. Uh, I know this is primarily, primarily a large format film channel, and my goal this year was to really, really shoot a lot of large format, but I've had two changes in my life that have really affected uh, how much I get to shoot, one major and one minor, and I will go ahead and share those with you. Uh, that have uh, shared those changes with you that have affected my ability to shoot. The first change, a minor change in my life, was that six days ago, Mr. Nathan here was born, four pounds, 13 ounces, and uh, delivery went smoothly, just a really, really, uh, really good time in our lives. But of course, kids make everything a little bit more challenging in the beginning. Um, but we have a three-year-old girl, so we've been through this before. It's, it's just a minor change. Uh, we'll get used to, uh, to him, and I'll be back shooting in no time. But the major change, what's really going to, uh, or what's really affected how much I've been able to shoot large format this year, is that that's really hard to do. All right, so the major change. Five minutes later, Mr. Ethan was born here. 5 pounds, 15 ounces. That's right, we have twins. And my reaction eight or so months ago when I first found out we were having twins was kind of this number. And that lasted for a good two to three months. But uh, haven't been able to shoot much this year because Jen's been pregnant with the twins and I've had to stick around close. And, you know, we'll see how it works out. But love these little guys. And we'll get back to shooting a lot of large format at some point in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and put them back. And we'll talk a little bit about the Hasselblad 500CM and kind of some of my thoughts on that. Hi, guys. Your debut. Sleeping through. Okay, so let's talk about the Hasselblad 500CM for a little bit. Believe it or not, this is the first time I have ever shot medium format film. Uh, my journey in photography has been a little bit unique. We started out with a Canon 40D about six years ago, moved from that to a 5D Mark II, a 5D Mark III. At some point along the line, I decided I wanted to get serious about landscape photography. And about two to three years ago, I picked up a large format camera, having really never shot film at all. I kind of tested out one roll of 35mm Ektar and then just decided to jump straight in uh, to 4x5, never having shot 120 film. So I decided that the birth of my kids would be the perfect time to learn a completely new uh, film format for me. So this is the Hasselblad 500CM. I borrowed it from a buddy of mine and this camera is most known for shooting a square format. It's going to give you 6x6 negatives on a roll of 120 or 220 film. So being that, um, being that the, uh, we were going to be in the hospital for a while, I thought I was going to have to shoot Delta 3200. The hospital rooms can be very dark, and I just wanted to have as, uh, as much speed in the film as possible. Which brings me to my only real negative I have about the camera, and that's to do with the shutter speed and the lens. It only goes up to, the fastest is only 1 500th of a second. And I only had Delta 3200 loaded sometimes uh, shooting at 2.8 that was a, a little bit too much uh, for the speed of film I was using I'd have to stop it down to 5.6 I think even uh, had to go to f8 once when it was really bright the window in the room was really bright but uh, if you have multiple film backs if you have you know 3200 maybe 400 speed film loaded in the other that's not going to be a problem I just had the one film back and only 3200 loaded so um, this camera obviously comes with the prism viewfinder, the eye viewfinder. It also, uh, I think the more popular way is to get the waist level viewfinder. But I found that focusing it, the focus ring has just so much, uh, so much latitude in it to make really fine adjustments. I did have some focusing issues. It's got a split screen um, focuser in it. And I think I was relying too much on that instead of my eye uh, just lining up the scene and visually seeing what was in focus. A few shots were out of focus. That's completely user error. 
Uh, with Delta 3200 though, it really doesn't matter because the film is so grainy uh, that what's sharp and what is what not, what, that what's sharp and not sharp uh, really doesn't matter too much with that film. Uh, this is just a really, really well-made camera. I'll uh, let you hear the shutter speed, wind it here, or hear the shutter sound after I take my dark slide out. I mean, that is what a shutter should sound like. That also, uh, kind of by accident, brings up another good point. This camera won't fire with the dark slide in place here, which I tried to do about 50% of the time. So I'm really glad that they put that feature in there because I would have had a lot of blank images um, from shooting with the dark slide still in place. But I'm really pleased with the way the images came out. Um, really really simple to meter I just used uh, my incident meter uh, took a reading and then fired off at the shutter speed uh, that the meter gave me I hadn't tested the film beforehand so I just shot at box speed and developed it uh, using the massive dev chart uh, at the recommended developing time for DDX but they came out really well I'm really happy with them the square format works really really well for people photography. Uh, I had never shot square before and I found that I really like it for people. I don't think I would like it for landscapes. I think it would be pretty tough to uh, you know get leading lines or balance a composition when it was square. Uh, a buddy of mine just got this camera specifically for landscapes so I'll be interested to hear his, uh, his results with it but I don't think I would like it for landscapes. For people though it is great. Really, really solid, uh, solidly built camera. Uh, if you're looking to get into medium format, uh, I would recommend this. I don't know if I'll buy one. Uh, I may go with a, uh, eventually if I get a medium format camera, may go with something in the 645 ratio. But uh, this, is, this is a really fun camera to shoot with. So, Moving forward, I will try to shoot as much large format as possible. At some point, I'll get going again, uh, shooting a lot of large format. But until then, um, I will bring you along for all types of film that I shoot. I just bought a uh, really, really old Canon uh, 35 millimeter film camera. I'll do a review on that soon. If I borrow this one again, I'll take you guys along for the ride. And of course, I've got my Zion trip planned for large format, so we'll have that in the future as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like and subscribe if you did. That really helps out. And we'll see you guys next time. All right, so before I go, I just wanted to say a very heartfelt thanks to everyone who has sent us messages or said congratulations, people I only know through this channel or who follow me uh, for my photography on various social media platforms. Um, again, that's awesome. I don't even know you guys in person, but through this video, uh, through this YouTube channel or through my photography, I feel like I know you guys. And thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, showing your support with our twins being born.